hi there I am at my art weaver free application again today I'm going to play with some other things first of all I'm going to open a new file and I changed the width to 6x6 resolution 390 still a transparent background I'm going to open it up now I'm going to go to Google and I'm go going to Google for graphics fairy vintage images and I'm going to go to the images tab right here I'm going to go out and choose some I thought Easter but then I was looking at the sewing ones too and I'm just going to look at some of the line ones I saw one in here of a dress form that I really liked if I can find it again oh look there's a scissors I like that scissors but I like this dress form right here so I'm just going to open this in a new tab there it is I'm going to view the image there it is and I'm going to right click on it and copy image then go go back over to my art weaver and edit and paste and there it is so I thought what I would do is I'm going to move this if I can
I am happy with it. Let's let's layer everything down. I think it is. Let's save it. Save as as. Okay. Let's uh let's make it a high quality one. There's my card. Happy spring to all my needlework friends out there. It's not I would do some changing on this. I'm really just kind of playing with my my uh digital painter. If I were doing this for real and printing it out and sending it out, I think I would move this wording so that it would fit up above my grid line. I'd probably put my grid line on first and then put my text on there. But I, this is kind of fun. So, you can do a lot of things with these digital painters. I'm just having fun with this and this is just the free version. So, huh, let's see what else I can do with them again. And again, I got I grabbed both the scissors image and the dress form, the dress stand image came from the graphics fairy. And I will put a link to those down in the description box below so that you'll know where I got them. Thank you for watching and I had fun playing with this and I will see you on the next page.